So this is my Hobie Island, Hobie Tandem Island, uh, with a few modifications that I've gotten from different YouTubers. Uh, just give it a little bath. Working on some hakas or bench seats here on this side, using aluminum loading ramps. And then we're just uh, putting some plywood on here with some screws. Put that down. Uh, this frisbee is adaption here to keep the roller fur or the uh, furling line from kind of falling off that reel in rough seas. Um, some of these, most of these modifications are the results of folks I've seen on YouTube. Uh, Mechanic Mike is the one that taught me a lot of those. We're gonna leave the trampoline set on this side. I did have to go in here. I uh, had a lot of water getting in the boat. Uh, another one of Mechanic Mike's suggestions. And I uh, just took some sleeping mat, an old styrofoam sleeping mat, cut it, fit it there uh, with the door strip kind of door edging guard around the edge here and that seems to keep it nice and dry you can see in there i have my battery kind of have it bungeed to the mast pole under there and have all the wires then run to the back i'll show you what they go to here in just a second hope the sail the trampolines i did end up putting a bilge pump in here just in case I was out uh, on the lake one day and got a fair amount of water in the boat uh, did not like that and so implemented that this is my riser uh, another mechanic mic also kind of addition um, or motivation inspiration I guess and so this is just some PVC pipe bent you can google mechanic mics riser and it'll come up on YouTube he's got all the specifications uh, mounted my rod holders here on the side of this rig crate which is great because the crate can come out the back because of it uh, and the rod holders can go there for fishing and I put them kind of out in front of me I did make a modification with just a cheap well not cheap it was a stadium seat that we had laying around and I just put a piece of plywood kind of in place of the seat to get it up out of the water which creates a nice little storage area under there and then you just set the seat on it here and then I have some clips the Hobie clips from the original seat here that I just clip in down there and then I also took the bungees for the um, foot pedals from the Mirage Drive to hold it up in place and I just kind of bungeed it in here so that that plywood can't go anywhere and then I tied it to the back of the riser here so then of course none of this moves so far so good at least uh, I did have my um, have my fish finder that goes here my transducer mount is here this was another issue I was having you see all the strings uh, in the current I bought this ram mount kind of transducer and it just kept flipping up so by putting this string on here like so it allows me to sail and the current can't kick it up um, like I said, you, that string goes underneath that bar there but that'll keep uh, the transducer down in place and it doesn't kick up because it was always just kind of kicking back up out of the water uh, I replaced the pockets here with the fish type and then you see this toggle switch that is for my manual operated bilge pump it does have a float in it so I was able to install the float uh, but I like being able to manually kick it on and off just in case there's a view of my hakas I'm looking forward to getting those done be a nice little wooden looking deck over there those are aluminum so they're very light with just really thin plywood on top um, so looking forward to getting those attached then i have a nice little deck to stand on might even be able to launch the uh, or set the mast from standing there without having to do it at the boat landing so that'd be nice got it sitting on this nice galvanized trailer it's just a bass boat trailer i took all the the uh, ramps or all the bunker boards off I'm gonna purchase the Hobie Cradles. Just hate to pay 250 bucks for them, but it just seems to be a good move and put those on here. But my little $200 boat trailer. And so that kind of gives you a full view of my Hobie Tandem. Very easily saleable with one person in the back, comfy, rod holders, everything I need. And then an additional seating in the front. And then usually at least one passenger can ride on either the trampoline or in this case the hawk. I haven't taken the hawkers out, obviously I haven't finished them, um, but hopefully get those done.
And that is my Hobie Tandem Island.